the moment I'm still waiting for a phone call, which was meant to be 24 hours or 48 hours from when I gave them all my details and my paperwork and I'm still waiting for their phone call. I was being chased up a lot because I wasn't providing enough information. They were in the background emailing and messaging and calling me for all of these details and I was just like, you know what, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> We had a huge hailstorm here. It was it was massive, and we went down and, and seen the broker. He, he even came up here. He's not that far away. Come up and had a look at, at the damage. If the broker wasn't involved in that storm claim, I'm quite sure it'd be tedious paperwork that I'd rather not do. And obviously, our broker, because he would be lodging a lot of claims for other people, he would he would know the process a lot better than what we would, and maybe some things that we might miss in lodging claim. Terrible. I'd shudder to think it would have taken ages and I wouldn't have really known what to do and, and between the handling it between me and the and the insurer, no, much much better for, for the broker to be the intermediary there to, to look after all of those hassles for sure. Maybe having just that one person that you deal with that can help you from the beginning to the end of the claim and making sure that the process of who's at fault is a lot easier and determine who's at fault with all the information that you have given them and uh, not have to wait for a phone call.